Hi, this is Mike, and this is Joysticks and Sliders. This is a pose-based rigging tool for After Effects designed to help you take your character rigs to the next level. Beyond just characters, Joysticks and Sliders can be used to rig virtually anything. So these first examples will be simple to convey the basic operation of Joysticks and Sliders and the principles of pose-based rigging. To those with a 3D background, some of these concepts will sound familiar. Let's start with Joysticks. Here we have four solids. I've started by keying a bunch of properties in the first frame of my timeline. This will be known as our origin pose. On the very next frame, I'll make my right pose. Now one very important thing here is that all properties that I want my joystick to control must have a keyframe for every pose, whether it changes or not. I can do that manually, or I can use one of my setup tools. Clicking Paste Origin will paste all origin keyframes to my current frame. Only in this case, I don't want to overwrite the keyframes I've just created, so I will hold down Alt when I click. This prevents overwriting of keyframes. On the next frame, I'll make my left pose. I'll paste Origin and work off that. Skipping ahead a little bit, I now have an origin, right, left, up, and down extreme for my layers. Selecting all and hitting U, I'm making one last check to make sure all key properties have keyframes for all five poses. When everything looks good, I hit create new joystick. Give it a name. This new solid surrounded by this dotted rectangle is just that, a joystick. Let's move it to the side. This little solid interpolates between all of those extremes. All of your original keyframes are gone, but if you do want to readjust your setup, you can just select your joystick and unbind. Tweak anything you want to tweak. Just make sure that if you bring a new property into the mix, make sure it has keyframes on all five frames. Select those layers again, bind to existing, and there you go. All of these bound properties can still be offset by the user if they want to make tweaks in the animation process. Now for a practical application, here's a little head rigged with a joystick. I'll unbind this so you can see the key poses that uh, make it up. That's a lot of properties being controlled by one joystick. Gives you an idea of how powerful this rigging tool can be. It works well, but that and mouth doesn't work for all extremes. And if you're doing lip sync, you might be using different mouth packs for each head direction. Switch Templates helps you automate the process of toggling the visibility of assets according to your joystick position. I'm going to create a switch template right now and give it a name. A comp has been created. Let's look at it. Here we have a square composition that is one frame long. I have three mouths that I prepare for this, a, a middle, left, and right. I'm going to place these in this template comp according to where I want them to appear in relation to the joystick position. You can have any number of items in here, and your template comp must only contain your items that will be swapped. Now going back to my rig, I will make sure that the same items live on this guy's face and that they all track correctly. The layers must share the same name as in the template comp. Now I'll find my switch template in the drop down menu and my joystick layer and click bind. Now our character's mouths swap at the appropriate position. If I'd like to adjust their swapping point, I can go into the template and move the items around. Now let's learn about sliders. Clicking on the tab up top reveals your sliders panels. Setup for sliders is similar to joysticks. I'm going to improvise a little bit for this and use some more of these setup tools. This is key all. It will key every riggable property in my selected layers. Let's tweak a few things for our first pose. Now I'll paste origin with alt held down, and let's make a second pose by jumbling a few things around. Now I have many more properties keyed than I'm actually using, so I'll streamline this by unkeying flat. That removes animation from properties that don't change. This little tool can also be useful for streamlining baked 3D or tracking data. Selecting these layers, I'll create a new slider null. And here you now have a null with two sliders that you can mix together from 0 to 100. Feel free to rename these to something appropriate. Now one thing that sliders offers that joysticks does not is inverse posing. If I unbind these, then rebind with Alt pressed, the sliders now accept negative values to give you the inverse of your pose. And if you plan your poses carefully, this can be a very powerful feature for you. 
Now, personally, I like to keep my stage clean, so I prefer to keep my sliders in the effect panel of my slider null. But if you like to use something on the stage to represent your sliders, you can create UI sliders. This creates virtual sliders on the stage that you can animate with. Any animation on your original sliders has been transferred to these UI sliders. But don't delete that slider null, it's still controlling your poses, but now it is controlled by your UI sliders. You can make several adjustments to the look of your sliders, like horizontal to vertical, its limit, overall scale, and arrow size. You can also clamp your slider to exclude negative values. If you decide you'd rather use your effect sliders, you can select your slider arrows and click delete. The sliders will go away and their animation will be sucked back into the effect sliders. For some practical applications here is a look at a rather detailed eye rig. This uses a handful of sliders. Additionally, there is a joystick to control the pupils and the gradient on the eyes. Now let's take a look at these poses that make this rig up. You'll see that each pose represents a slight alteration from the origin pose. This will look familiar to 3D artists who do character rigging with blend shapes. The staircase rig is fully 2D with poses that are made from changing the position and scale values of different rectangles. Move to parent comp. This feature is both for joysticks and sliders. To build a nice looking rig you need to create a whole lot of layers and when you get into production mode it is much cleaner to control your rig from a parent composition. It's like putting this hipster's head on top of his body. I'd rather control it from the comp that contains the body than digging into his head composition. I'll go into the hipster's head comp and select the joystick. I'll select the parent comp from the drop down menu and click move. The controls here have turned red to indicate that they are now controlled by the parent layer. Don't delete these elements as they are still controlling your assets. If you need to go back a step further and tweak your rigging of your character, select the red joystick when unbinding and rebinding, not the one in the parent layer. And that's it! Try out joysticks and sliders and rig everything.